you know, even though we're happy to throw our fists in the air and proclaim Yo Joe again, like the fans, as as we usually do, um, sometime thereafter, this costume came out, or the picture of this costume came out, and I don't know. Rachel Nichols as Scarlet looks great, but I mean she has the red hair and everything, but something's missing. I mean, you know, it's not the color that we're so used to in the original Scarlet figure. I mean, yeah, she has her bow, the signature crossbow, but um, the yellow and the red and what looks to me to be like, uh, I believe, a charcoal blue. Uh, it's missing. It's missing. So, what? You know, it's not that bad of a costume. It's kind of cool, but, you know, it's all black. And it kind of reminds me of something else we've seen in the movies. But, um, it's not to say that it doesn't look good. It looks pretty sweet, I think. Um, you can tell it's well designed. It's just not Scarlet. We know. Um, Rachel Nichols fills up the suit pretty well, like she did in her white dress and P2. But, um, it's red hair. And she looks good, um, but just kind of disappointed that we don't get the color. Anyway, hopefully she'll um, make the fans happy. Now, G.I. Joe has been known for its individuality uh, via the costumes. You know, yeah, maybe Roblox might, might not be in the movie, uh, unfortunately. I'd love to see Roblox in it, but um, news is so far that he's not going to be in it. But Duke, as uh, we talked about before, is going to be in it. And his costume definitely is can, can be differentiated from the rest of the gang. Like, you know, each one of the Joes can. Um, got used to seeing his costume. And uh, Ripcord, the same thing for Ripcord. You know, he had a certain look. Um, his hair is, I think, blonde or reddish blonde. But uh, we all got used to seeing his look. We all know what he looks like, like that. So individuals, individual characters, individual costumes. But then these pictures of Duke and Marlon Wayans, supposedly as Ripcord, started surfacing. And I was thinking, wait a minute. Is this G.I. Joe or is this X-Men? Or Starship Troopers? I don't know, the black and the armor. You know, I don't know. You know, but it's supposed to be Scarlet, even though she's in black, and it's supposed to be Duke, even though he's only in black, and it's supposed to be Ripcord, same thing. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of disappointed, but I don't want to be too negative about it. But um, people on the forums have been saying that um, this movie is very much an origin film, and it kind of details the beginnings of the G.I. Joe team, and so. They're not quite G.I. Joe yet, so these costumes that we're seeing supposedly are um, in their earlier days of the Joes, be possibly before they became the G.I. Joe team. Whatever. Uh, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt, but just as the pictures are, kind of disappointed, so we'll see. Um, General Hawk. Uh, we've seen him in all kinds of different costumes, but the earlier days, he also not only had his uh, dress uniform, but also his battle fatigues, and that's kind of one. That's one example of it. But um, these pictures came out of Dennis Quaid as Hawk, and I know there was a lot of talk on the internet, in the forums, and how people didn't like this, but I'm, I'm not so disappointed by it. It's kind of cool. People don't like the smirk, the smile, Dennis Quaid's smile. People, Some people said that um, he didn't look like he was taking it seriously, but I don't know. If I was kicking terrorist butt, I'd be smiling too, because uh got to bring justice to them. You know what I mean? I I like the, the pictures of Hawk, and this guy's got like almost zero body fat, I'm guessing. Um, uh, it's my guess that Dennis Quaid either runs a lot or does a lot of cardio, some other kind of cardio, because um, he looks fit, and I like the costume on him. He looks good, so I'm not big and I'm not disappointed like a lot of the fans seem to be in this stuff. Cover Girl. Um, she was portrayed as a hottie 
in the comic books Marvel. And um, if you remember, she was a woman that she was the Joe that drove the Wolverine armored missile vehicle with all those a nice dual rack of missiles. Um, news came out months ago when they were releasing casting information about the Joe film that Carolina Korkova who I believe was born in what is now the Czech Republic uh, she is cast as cover girl and then these pictures recently were released of her in the costume and I think they're okay you know they're not the figure that we all grew up knowing and the costume that we all grew up knowing but you know does it look horrible I'm not exactly 100% happy, but I'm not 100% disappointed either. Um, one thing a lot of the fans were kind of up in arms about is this uh, all the G.I. Joe markings. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the Joe emblem or writing all over the costume, pants and her shirt, and it's the same with Hawk's pants in the earlier pictures. I don't have a totally big problem with that. Um, you know, it's kind of like American soldiers wearing the American flag. It's kind of ID. But, uh, oh, I got to mention that uh, in the movie, it's no longer a, Mer a real American hero. And it's now a global integrated joint operation entity. And that's got a lot of fans angry. And I'm, I got to include myself in those fans. It's kind of, you know, it's just sad that they're kind of de-Americanizing this film. And they really don't need to. I think heroes come from all around the world, but you know, why do we have to deny that, that there are heroes in America as well? They gotta internationalize us. I don't think that's really necessary, but oh well. I was gonna say that there's G.I. Joe markings on other Joes as well. I bought this figure in recent years. Um, G.I. Joe, oh, it's Bomb Strike. It's, a, it's actually a, well, a Jane, a girl. Uh, bomb strike and um, I actually bought this one because it kind of reminds me of someone I know but uh, I think AC is going to give me a hard time for that one um, yeah so cover girl I think back in the day in the early 80s when I first started thinking about um, who you know the idea of a live action G.I. Joe movie this is when I was like 15 or so I started actually thinking about what it would be like if there was a live action G.I. Joe movie and I thought Cindy Crawford it would be cool to play Cover Girl because uh, during my generation Cover Girl, the phrase Cover Girl was synonymous with Cindy Crawford she's the babe of our generation I guess at least as far as models, supermodels went and speaking of babes the Baroness she's a definite babe um, but you know she's an evil one in the world of G.I. Joe she's a Cobra, or at least she's um, an associate of Cobra's. Uh, Destro's uh, main squeeze is Lady Love. But um, this, to me, is the definitive image of the Baroness, uh, as drawn by Russ Heath. And I believe the uh, colorist for that issue was George Rosus. I think that's his name. But it was basically uh, G.I. Joe Marvel issue number 24. And um, I think it looks great. You know, Baroness is just totally hot. Uh, she's no slave Leia, but she's still pretty hot. The uh, only sad thing is that she's a bad guy. But um, this is Gina. Uh, she was able to fill out this great costume uh, for San Diego Comic Con back in 2002. Now, you know, this is a... a trade show kind of thing so they didn't have like a big Hollywood budget but I thought the costume was pretty cool and found this picture on the net all those years ago and she managed to make this costume look great and you know the figure was already out this figure was back out in 1984 and the drawings from the comics you saw earlier were based on this or vice versa and um, I mean I thought this looked great this is one of the coolest figures I ever had, and I still have it. 